So, okay, and we're live um, for take two. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but um, what's up, Stu? What's up, Ben? How are you? Good to be back. Absolutely. Um, 1986 Donruss. Uh, we, are yep. going, we are doing a charity break this time. Um, we are donating the pros proceeds to Stu's father, um, the original Jack of All Trades. Um, everyone that you know watches this channel has seen your film. We're all big, big fans. And uh, uh, so I donated the box. Everyone else donated their buy-ins. Um, wow. And they, you know, uh, they everyone overbought. Um, That's very cool. Their man. stack. I sponsored your stack. So long story short, we have. Uh, almost four hundred dollars to to donate to whatever Perfect. charity you tell us. Um, okay. Well, first of all, um, before you get to this, I see Roger M, Danny R, uh, regulars to the to the room. So welcome back, guys, and thank you for this is very generous of you, all of you. And David Hopefully J has been in a bunch of a bunch uh, of breaks. Uh, also. David J, David J, I just couldn't read that from here. Uh, but uh, Stu S, that's amazing. I got my lower <laughs> left. And uh, listen, I hope there's Consecos for everybody in here. I mean, I've never pulled a Conseco out of a pack, so I we could go over the box. That could happen. Just prepare yourself. It is. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping there's Consecos for all of you. Obviously, it's well documented how much I'm a pack chaser of '86 Don Ross, and I've never been successful. So, thank you. And the sweet gesture of donating money um, is very sweet, and uh, I think that. Um, to pay it forward, uh, a good buddy of mine who's also in the film Jack of All Trades, uh, Chris Carlin of Upper Deck, uh, he actually is going through some family stuff now with his brother, and um, he started a GoFundMe to in support of his brother's battle. I believe it, uh, possibly with Lou Gehrig's disease. I, I, it would be terrible if I'm speaking, if I'm saying the wrong thing, but from what I understand, and I know that. He was uh, he put out a pretty emotional video the other day. So, you know, Chris is my boy, and I think that it would be very fitting to uh, donate that money to their GoFundMe that they have set up. Yes. And I think, you know, okay. that would be, you know, that would be a really cool gesture and uh, a way to sort of pay it forward to someone in need. Yes. Uh, we could have we could have done like a charity, but I feel like this is a pretty charitable cause, and there's a connection to the story. Chris was the guy from Upper Deck who. Uh, spoke to us in the movie, and uh, you know we had a bit of a, uh, you know, a, an awkward relationship at that point. Obviously, after the movie came out, and uh, you he put was him on like the spot at the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he was as cool when I actually met, ran into him again in the future. Um, you know, he was as cool as cool can be. We, you know, he had some frustrations with me, I guess, uh, understandably, but we. Talked it, we talked about it like two grown adults, and we came out of it like he's just like a sweetheart of a guy, and I really respect the hell out of him. And uh, he has done some really, really cool things behind the scenes with me specifically, which I hope you know we can you know expand upon th that conversation here another time. But Chris has been very, very cool. So to hear that he's going through something, I know that he, uh, you know, he's a good cause, he's a good dude. So let's pay it forward. That's what we're and gonna maybe do. We'll you, do um, maybe you can do it. You can do it in my dad's name. Absolutely, we'll do it. And you um, just link me to the the GoFundMe, and I'll put it in the description. Yeah. And um, we'll do it. Um, this is about the nicest box you'll ever see of '86 Donruss. This is from our yeah. fr um, uh, our friend Dave of the channel from the Vintage Wax Group. Um, he is he. I mean, if you're looking for like unicorn stuff, like from a sealed case, um, he's the guy that. Uh, um, I got my 84 Donruss from a seal case from because um, those are uh, really impossible to find and I promised him I would not break it so I'm not <laughs> I can't break that on the channel not that I would anyway but um, you are crazy you break like the best stuff <laughs> I know um, but it's usually only when I have like doubles um, of it so we're gonna start with David J in the uh, upper left like we and you don't do. e and you don't even do it for profit it's like insane but but honestly, um, I don't. But then, like I sh I really should um, t take a picture of the wall of boxes that I have over there. I, I will. I'll put it on my Instagram. Um, you should see all the boxes that I've been able to just go through um, and open, yeah. which is you know so fun. Um, I mean, you know, you 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 just it's worth hang, it. Yeah, you hang out and and it's a lot of fun. I and mean, it's 
I'll all actually right, open I all have, the packs. I have something to make it even more fun. Um, you know, I think, like, I'm sort of obsessed now since I think, like, a couple breaks ago we started, like, uh, hunting, like, weird error cards. Yeah. So there are error cards in the 86 uh, Donra set that I that people aren't too familiar with. But they exist, and there's two really good ones. So if you happen to see them, we will stop and, and look. But uh, we're looking for – there is a bunch of error cards, but Andres Galarraga and Tom Seaver have, like, notable ones. Start with Lynn so. Dykstra on the back. Um, yes. That's, uh, a, that's, a, that's a rookie card. Absolutely. Um, uh, the wow. Tom Seaver is green and yellow, right? And wh yep. which is the good one? Because we – I remember our last yeah. break. I would say that the good one is probably yeah. the green one because that's the one that. The Fox. Oh, I don't know. Well, that, it's like you never know because like the Lee Smith one, I heard the corrected one is more harder to find than the original, like they, because there's so many more of the errors and they only did a second print of a smaller amount. Yeah. You know what I mean, there's Lee Smith. Um, yeah, Danny Arthur right about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, so uh, you know. Rick Manning, and there's the Dijkstra. Wow, look at the centering on that. It's the wax card, but um, perfect centering. Is uh, send that to Howard Stern. Is Kurt Bavakwa gonna be our like new like Steve Trout? It seems like he's in like we hit him pretty regularly now. Maybe Kurt uh, Bavakwa is like gonna be doing a signing soon, and he'll need some of those cards. You know, uh, my buddy who uh, owns Burbank Sports Cards. I bet you like so many. Sales that he gets are like from the athletes themselves who like need the inventory for like signings and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um. Yeah, I mean, listen, like the odds of pulling a Canseco, that, that, how cool is Oil Can? <laughs> I love that card. Uh, you well, know, has... it's, it's, it's not happening. I'm a jinx. <laughs> we, got, we got a long way to go. Don't... Don't sweat it yet. All right. Dave I'm a Steve. Corey Snyder fan, too. If you, if, you, if you see Corey Snyder, let me know. Nolan Ryan is a nice one. There's our rated rookie. Not the one we want. There's our John Lawson. Lance, uh, Lance McCullers Jr., though, is uh, pitching now for the Astros, isn't he? Um, is he? Um, I'm not no, sure about that's that. That's nice. Tony Gwynn. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, um, today is National Baseball Card Day. So it's, Perfect timing. It's kind of fitting that we're breaking this. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Happy National Baseball Card Day, everybody. I um, I did go to my local card shop, which is not local. Um, <laughs> it's it's quite a, dri a drive here on the island in St. Augustine. We don't, but this is the um, this is the pack that you get when you walk in the door. Um, so you gonna open it? Um, I haven't opened it yet. So it's Christian Yellick on the front. Now I find, found out when I got home and, and went to let me see these. Um, with, with the blowout, um, you got a special Pete Alonzo if you bought $10 worth of tops. And I didn't. Um, and I didn't even know about her. I would have. I would have bought a couple of Chrome packs um, just to get the Pete Alonzo. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Tomorrow it's a different player. Um, so I missed out. I bought a I bought a box of Gold Standard. I want to try to hit the Tua. Um, Now the football is that, season's uh, right that, That's football. That's football, right? Yeah, two is football. Um, Are yeah. we going to open an '89 score uh, football box ever? Um, that would be um, that would be a lot of fun. I I think I have one, but I don't think it's from a sealed case. Um, that's nice. I know a lot of Murphy fans that would like that card. That's a nice card. Um, Rich Gedman. These are in really good shape. Oh, Seaver green. So this is the is that green or yellow? That's green. Okay, so that's first print. This is a first print. That means your Galarraga is going to be the good one. Is it? <laughs> I think so. It's going to say Andres without the accent over the E. So green is actually the um, the original print. Well, right. I don't know. I mean, the original one is green. So this is like the error card. So it must be, sometimes yeah. the corrections are worth more than the errors. It depends, I guess. Right. right. Um, yeah, I know. We need. Uh, there's Ryan Sandberg on the back. We need uh, we need Danny R in chat. Um, he he seems to really chase error cards. Um, By the way, I'm in Canada right now and I'm eating a bag of ketchup chips. I don't know if you've ever heard the legend of ketchup chips, but no. If you can get your if you can get your hand on a bag of ketchup chips, they don't sound good. good. Um, 
But uh, I've had salt and pepper chips, which also did not sound good, but they were good. So that's Gith. And there's the Ryan Sandberg. That's a nice card. Good coloring. Like look, it's just, the uniform matches the borders. This is Don Russ's best set. This is a nice 87 set. Eighty-seven is under. Uh, Eighty-seven is underrated. Just I like it also. Oh yeah, absolutely. But uh, eighty-six. I mean, 80, 84 through eighty-seven. You can't go wrong. Um, Don yeah. Russ had amazing designs. Yeah, I agree. Ted Simmons. He's a Hall of Famer now. Trevecki. Can you hear me chewing potato chips? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Because if you can, I'm going to stop. There's the Raleigh. Charlie Huff. There's and we don't know... what. Uh, nice. And we don't know, like, any sort of sequential run to try to hit the Conseco? No, um, I, we've hit the Conseco before, uh, but... Um, uh, it's in a, there's, it, it's different every time. I um I probably watched four Consecos be pulled, and I did not notice a run. Um, I know that we hit a, a Cecil Fielder in a Conseco pack. Yeah, Cecil Cecil's in here. Um, and uh, you remember that because I I think it might have been like my first message that I sent to you, and you were like, oh wow, cool. Yeah. Like you you watched, yeah. But we also hit another Cecil later in the break, and it did not have a Conseco. And then I've watched. A bunch of breaks with Cecil packs do not have Conseco. So um, there's Steve Trout. We, oh, we didn't make a lotto, but um, that's all right. We have a um, that's a nice good. And look at that, little top to bottom. Good and Diamond Kings. That would have been like a two dollar card back in the day. You know what I like about this the new thing. baseball card boom is that guys like Gooden and Mattingly are like hot again. That's a rookie. That is. That's wow. Look at the condition on that. Yeah, it's nice. If we hit Jose, let's let's have that kind of centering. That's ridiculous. Eric Davis. Vince, hey, I was saying his name during our test. <laughs> yeah, um, he was our test. I'm just saying, like guys like um, Gooden and Mattingly are getting like more love now. You can say go and like the stars of our era, even if they're not in the Hall of Fame, are getting like mad love. Yeah, there was a. You're right. Um, I mean, there was a. It was last winter, I think. There was a, a Doc Gooden article in Beckett um, the, of this guy that tried to get every Doc Gooden card. Um, it's a pretty good article. You got the '84 tops update. Gooden is pretty awesome. Um, yes, and the '84 <coughs> clear is also pretty amazing. Yeah, of course, that's the iconic one. There's also like an '85 Donruss. Uh, huh? Like, oh, there's Corey. Uh, 85 Donruss, like side of the box, um, good in, you know what I mean? Like one of the, like a box bottom card. Yes. Um, you're right. Uh, um, that is, is that a gym, Corey? I hope so. That centering is no joke. Um, David J and we got uh, rated rookies back to back, which does happen. It doesn't always, we opened a box where it did every rated rookie were, was a pair. Uh, PSA 10, PSA 10 Snyder going for $91. Nice. I mean, I never want to ever claim PSA 10 because they're so picky, but um, that's got righteous centering on it. I'll say that for it for sure. That's a nice card. What a prospect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I posted a uh, last pack, David J. Um, look at this miswrap. See, this is why you don't get too excited when you see this. Um, uh, because number one, this is from a sealed case, but miswraps happen, especially the last pack in the box. This um, Conseco could be in this pack now. Watch, it's like a Conseco mis miswrap. The miswrap, right? This is the Conseco miswrap. And besides, here's the other thing: if someone was trying to fake a box, would they leave a pack like that? Uh, mm -mm. That's what I always tell people: like, just relax when you see see that kind of stuff. Uh, really good centering. Look at that, Steve Crawton. Hey, uh, Fred McGriff is a rookie card, by the way. Yes, Fred McGriff is a huge one. Um, uh, Jim, Fred McGriff is almost as much as a Conseco. Um, and uh, and he's not um, Juan Samuel, a little off cut. And um, he's not out of the running for, for Hall of Fame. Who, Fred? Yeah. I mean, he should, I, think he should, I think he should get in. He has the numbers, really. Um, and he's just like a superstar player. We had some killer cards in that stack, David J. No Jose, but um, that was pretty epic. Um, 
Lot Tom Seaver, if, 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 it's, if, if it's something, you have it. Danny R will let us know, and he'll probably crush your dreams, David J. He'll be like, no, 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 it's the, the orange one. Um, <laughs> all right, Roger M., we're going we're gonna to go to you next. Upper right. You're not hearing me eat potato chips? Not really. All right, that's my biggest fear. No, no, I'm going to no. ruin the video with, like, eating potato chips. Yeah, I know. Some Roger, of the guys... Roger, um, Good luck, Roger. Some of the guys that wear mics wait, and do the breaks, they they breathe wait, and like they're. Go to that. Go to that checklist for a second at the back. Oh yeah. What's the car checklist number? From what number to what number? Three ninety one to four four two. Okay, so it's not. It's not the one that could be error. Or, wait, wait, sorry. Card forty five is not on that checklist, right? No, it no. starts at three ninety one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dave Kingman, Pete Rose, tie-breaking. Cool. Um, nice centering on that, too. Let's leave that for sure. I remember that being a cool car back in the day. Bob Stanley, Dave Parker, Goose Gossage, off-cut. R.J. Reynolds, Hubie Brooks, and our checklist. Yeah, nice Rose. I remember watching that on TV as a kid. Like, watching just Pete vague Rose? memories of Pete Rose like breaking that record. It was like breaking news. Yeah, they showed that uh, that replay like on every major um, network, like all evening and maybe even into the next day. It was a big deal when he broke the record. Cal Daniels, rookie. We're seeing some rated rookies for... at least. Yeah. Darren Dalton, is that a rookie? Could be, yeah. That's that's he has a, yeah. That's his rookie. He has an update set eighty, I think eighty five update. That's his rookie. It's a little off, a little, a little off cut, and oh, it's the wax card too. But um, there are a lot of Dan, Darren Dalton fans out there. Dutch, rest in peace. And Mr. Cal, a lot of Cal Daniels fans too. A lot of disappointed people. I right. got a little misrep on that one too. The Conseco misrep. So sh Pendleton, Aguilera, Diamond Kings checklist. There's Onyx Concepcion. Onyx. Tom Hume. Mr. Greg Nettles. Waddle and Pule. All right, kind of a stale pack, but that happens. Kurt Gibson, Diamond King on the back. Dave Henderson. Serhoff, rated rookie. Um, we're hitting the rated rookies consistently, but not... Um, Not any great ones, although the cow's not too bad, but they're the Paul O'Neill um, and uh, McGriff, and of course, Dick and Seiko. Galarraga. And a Galarraga, that's right. And we may, um, Ron Kittle. We may hit an error. Um, so the error just has the little accent? Is, that's all it is? No, it doesn't, it doesn't have the accent. It doesn't, I gotcha. Boddicker, Vandenberg, and Krakow. All right, Roger, and let's see if we can heat up these last four packs. We got Dykstra on the back. Jeff Reardon. Robin Yao. Yes. We hit yeah. a Robin Yao in the first pack, didn't we? And Bavakwa, yeah. Lee Smith. So now, yeah, so we've seen this run. So there's for sure a run. There is a run. Um, there's a Cecil Fielder run. I mean, there is there is a run where you can hit Jose in a Cecil pack, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. We don't want to 
We don't want to get a drum roll going when we hit Cecil because it doesn't always happen for sure. It might be you hit Cecil in a Jose pack. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Bruce Suter. And it seems like maybe even Ripken, too. Lou Whitaker. Laying down the bunt. Look laying, at that. Laying down the, playing the game the right way. That looked like a successful bunt, too, unless the catcher gets him. That might not have gone anywhere. Kevin Gross. Moving the runner. Leo Cruz. Daryl Evans. Oh, Cal Jr. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, not too bad. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's pretty close. Pack fresh. All right, two packs, Roger M. Goose Gossage on the back. Oil can. Bo Diaz. Yeah, so we've seen these guys. Oh, we, that's... Nolan did we Ryan? get Nolan already? Yes, we that's did. Card. And, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, this is new. See, it's not cons it's not that consistent, because we hit McClure's and Ryan before. And but That um, might have been the end of that run. Nice hit, Roger. Yeah. Love that. And the Goose Gossage. Look, nice, look how nice that McGriff is. It's not bad. Um, it's not perfectly centered, but... Um, Super sharp. And that's probably the nicest card we've hit so far. So good job, Roger M. I was getting a little worried for a couple packs there. It was kind of stale. The crime dog. Look at that. Nice. No sh no shame in having that in your collection. So yeah, there's, there's kind of a run. Last pack, Roger M. It's definitely not, you know... It's no Fleer run for sure, um, or um, Leaf. Our Leaf run was in, was crazy. That was insane. <laughs> we knew we knew every time when something was coming. That was amazing. Campbell, Moses B, Johnny Ray. There he is. And checklist. Wait, so what? Which checklist is it? And um, this is starts with Cal Daniels. So. Um, this is the Kinseiko. This is the rated rookie checklist. Okay, so who's listed as card number 45? Billy Bean. Okay, so that's an error. This is an error. Yes, the actual card number 45 is actually John Habian. So that's an error card. Uh, there's, If we ever see Gary Reedus or uh, Ron Davis, caller, <laughs> John Tudor. These guys all have error cards. You, we've hit two error cards already. Nice. So we got an error box. All right, Roger, I'm pretty good stack. That McGriff really saved your stack because it was looking a little dry until that, and then it, you got an error checklist, although... Um, the error checklist might be worthless to you, but to error collectors, that's an error card. It's an error. That's right. All right, Stu. You're up. Featuring the hot pack. Oh yeah, that's right. This is, I mean, if if there's any time for that hot pack to hit, this is the, this is it, right? This would be, yeah, I agree. Uh, guys, if uh, I pull like a couple of Consecos out of this pop stack, <laughs> uh, I mean that's on. I, you know, listen, what am I gonna do? I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, all right, Wilkerson. Manning Dykstra, which doesn't mean it's going to be the same, as we found out. Clint Hurdle. Lou Whitaker. Laying down and playing play the game the right way. So we yeah, definitely we saw see. this pack before. Um, yeah. That Roger Room had that pack. Come on, Jose. Where are you at, buddy? Drosian, um, Harper, oil can. <laughs> if only Jose was oil can. This is our third oil can. This is an oil can case. Nolan, so you might have a um, crime dog coming. Oh, that's true. See, he wasn't there. There, It's uh, Eddie Murray. Um, I guess sometimes they, it may, maybe they're, they're like in batches of five, like runs of five. 
Yeah, they, it's it's something like that. It's not a full pack run, um, or stack run like uh, like Leaf. All right, third pack, Stu. Kevin Bass, Ricky, look at that. Ooh, we, a nice we haven't one. seen him yet. That's a good sign. New cards, for That's sure. That's a good sign. Absolutely. New, seeing some new faces, that's always a good sign. Jeff, Jeff Stone. Stone, that's my cousin. <laughs> Way Boggs. Boggs, we haven't seen yet. Absolutely. Kipper rated rookie. These are all new faces, fresh faces, guys. This is good. This is good. This is really the good. Terminator. And we're consistently hitting rated rookies, so... I'm very happy about that pack. That's a good sign. That pack was ref nice and refreshing, and definitely a couple of nice Hall of Famers. For Just sure. seeing some new faces, you know, some fresh, some fresh faces. And Ricky on the Yankees. He was. Um, what was the, the year before? Uh, 84, 85. What's the year that Don Mattingly had like an insane amount of RBIs? Well, 85. Um, Ricky Henderson was like 60 of them or something like that. It was an, an right. absolute ridiculous amount. <laughs> so it's like, you know, when you have someone that can score from first on a, you know, a single in the gap, you know, it's, you can get some really nice RBIs. Um, the Hawk, Diamond King. These are new faces, guys. Templeton. Cecil Cooper. George Brett. We did see Brett before. Did we? Yeah, we did. Um, it was a different pack, though. Um, it was a completely different pack because it had um, it had someone else that we sleeved right before Brett. Um, nice. George George Brett. Pine tar bat in Cooperstown. Bob Stanley, it's Dave Parker, we've seen them. Dave Engel. Dave Kingman. We won his teammate. You got the tie breaking card. I feel like you're dancing around a crime dog. Uh, this is just like. <laughs> you don't understand. My heart is racing. <laughs> You're tap dancing around a crime dog. I, I just feel it. Um, all right, four packs to go, but maybe you're just saving it for the hot pack. Willie Randolph. John Denny. RJ Reynolds. Uh, uh, uh. Lamar Hoyt. Davis, Dutch. Mr. Dutch, Sosha. The Dutch. Yeah. Yeah, we hit a um, we hit a part of that that run before. I'm telling you guys, this Jose thing is just like I'm cursed. <laughs> what did you say in the film? How many packs? <laughs> did you I, I mean, I couldn't even imagine how many packs it's been. Gorman Thomas, with the Mariners. There's Cal, rated rookie. Air checklist, no. No, it's it start it's the first one, so it starts with number one. It's the Diamond Kings, sorry. Kuchiki, Onyx. Uh oh, we've seen we've seen these guys. <laughs> Waddle. Aguilera. And. There's our rated rookie, not the one we want. All right, hot pack is coming up. Hot pack time. We're gonna know what's up. This is uh, this is very telling. But don't forget, we have um, uh, we also have fan mail at the end to save the break in case we <laughs> in case we strike out. Um, Fair. Uh, uh, we have a, um, uh, stay tuned at the end, we have a, uh, a little piece of fan mail for, for Stu. That's very, I, uh, that's crazy. We're, we're a hit, man. We're a hit. We got fan mail. 
Danny Jackson. I realize I should be slow peeling this a little bit. This seems like Bobby Gritch. Maybe we did see Bobby Gritch. Joel Skinner. Skinner. Sanderson. The Diamond King. Kurt Gibson. No. Kittle, which we did see Kittle before. No. Ada. Uh, no. I thought it was going to be Cecil. <laughs> that would have saved the pack. All right, so that was a little bit of a cool pack. So the hot pack, the hot pack has been cold. It should just be called the cold pack until it gets hot again. The Stewstone cool pack. Cold, the cold pack. <laughs> that one had Ron Kittle in it, which was very uh, ironic. He was the king of the cool list. You're right. We haven't seen Fisk yet. Have we not? Fisk? I don't remember. This is new, guys. This is new. These are new players. Mike Davis? Fresh faces, guys. That's an Ontigian rookie. We we didn't get that before. Did we? I don't think so. Gullickson? These are new players. Boddicker? Garner? With the, the old donut. <laughs> oh, my God. i got to hold, hold him in the middle. Donut. Vandenberg. Krakow. Uh, uh, it's not looking good. Donnie Moore. Rest in peace. Nate Snell. Oh, that was going to be it. Randy Reddy and Bill Swaggerty. Swing and a miss. Uh, par for the course. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much how it goes. Just so you know. It's up to you, Danny R. Danny R, you're our only hope. All right. All right, final stack. And Danny R is going to save the day. I think he is. That looks like a Conseco misrap. Is that Clint Hurdle? Have we seen him yet? I don't remember. Mike Fitzgerald. We've seen Fitzy. Yes, we've seen Reardon, Hatcher, Yount, Bivacqua, Lee Smith. Yeah. We know this back. If only Dykstra big, and Dyk you know, the big hit. If Dykstra was like only had only like you know <laughs> been a, a Hall of Famer. If every season was like, like what what was his huge season that he had? He had one season that was ridiculous. He was like an MVP candidate. Um, like ninety three. Yeah, he was like chasing four hundred for part of the season. I remember. Lou Whitaker. Uh oh. Definitely seen part of the part of this run before. Oil can. I remember. Um, yeah, I remember oh, specifically a reporter asking Dykstra during that season. Um, so, if you're hitting 400, like you know, 401 on the last day of the season, do you play? You know, alluding to Ted Williams, um, uh, Nolan Ryan, and he said, "No way." I'm 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 sitting, <laughs> which I thought was awesome. Just him being honest. Uh, Anderson, unfortunately, we've seen these guys. Oh boy, it feels like a like we're doing an, another one of these stacks. <laughs> but you never know. They um, listen. We pulled a Griffey Jr. on our last pack, and so you never we, know. We pulled a Fred McGriff right out of the same kind of run before, you know, uh, in the upper right. So, oh, I'm saying like on our '89 upper deck break, we 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 got a Griffey in the very last pack. Yeah, the last half of the last pack. We we had given up all hope. Wade Boggs and Eddie Murray both. We definitely hit those guys before, but super nice condition and Hall of Famers. Mike Marshall, the Hawk. I'm going to sleeve that just because it's perfect centering. Wait, John Tudor. Go to John Tudor. Oh, yeah, that's right. Deion James how many made games, for you. In 1981, how many games did he play? In 81, games. Oh, yes. 
he, he can't have played in point one eight games. That's an error card. So that's an error. Nice. All right. For all you weird error card collectors. Danny yeah. R. does collect error cards for sure. We now acknowledge. And I'm about to run out of sleeves. I think I have another pack here somewhere. All right, and pretty nice weight box. And I've got a one touch right here, hoping to use it. Gary Gaetti, we haven't seen him, huh? No, that's a fresh face. That is a fresh face. We haven't seen. We remember that <laughs> that big smile. We did see. See, yeah. they just their their run is so inconsistent because that's yeah. a, that's new cards mixed in with old. It's consistently uh. consistent. <laughs> Could hey, you imagine yeah. if there? So there is a box out here, out there that is like has like all Kensecos. That has like four or five Kensecos. Absolutely. Um, there For has sure, to there be. has to be. There has to be. They did. They, I mean, unless they um, they pulled. Um, How would they have known though? There's no way they would have known. Like Kenseiko wasn't a star yet. Right. There's uh, the only thing I was gonna say is if they pull rated rookie sets. For some reason, you know, at the factory to do something with rated rookie sets, um, but yeah, they we we'd seen plenty of rated rookies. So, um, Saber Hagen, we haven't seen that. Yeah, since. fresh, fresh face, fresh face. Jim when we Rice? get fresh, you gotta let go slow. Jim Rice, we haven't seen. I don't think we've seen Jim Rice. No, <laughs> we have seen Milner though, and Cecil, Diamond uh, King. Here we yeah. go. And George uh, Brett. What's that, up, Brett? That Brett has good centering, so I'm gonna put that. In. I'm gonna have to find sleeves for Danny R. So I'll leave those stacked up there until I can sleeve them. All right, three packs to go, Danny R. John Shelby. Honeycut. Al Oliver. I think that's new, huh? Ray Knight, that's new. Could be. He's the, um, was he the MVP of uh, World Series? 86? Yeah, he might have been. So. Uh, Alfredo? Ricchetti? These are nice. These are new cards. Yeah, these are new. He's not, though. We saw one some year before. We keep jinxing it every time we say that we haven't seen people. <laughs> then they throw in a bunch that we have seen tie breaking and um all right two packs just give us a few new cards that's all we ask brett butler fernando this is new that's new for sure Ooh, the next uh, <laughs> so, uh. uh we can't get excited that's uh, it. we can't get excited when we see new cards uh, they give us like four new cards and then kirk gibson we've seen before david green all right last pack all right well just before you like thumb through this this is my fault everybody i am jinxed <laughs> i've never pulled a canseco out of a pack so why start now <laughs> yeah it would almost be wrong if we got a canseco let me perish <laughs> Never. This is crazy. We just opened up a four hundred and whatever four hundred dollar box of cards, that's like sealed from a case. I've, I'm having deja vu. Oh boy. Yeah, it did not. Happen. Oh guys, it didn't happen. I'm, if only oil can was like you know, a chase card. Guys, listen. At least Chris Carlin is good. Good cause. The money's gonna go to a charitable cause. A good cause, and, for sure. You know, the cards are fun. The breaks are fun. That's what we do it for, for the love. But uh, listen, I guess we'll have to do a sequel uh, down the road and uh, just try to keep hunting that Canseco every couple months. Yeah, we can always circle back. Um, it's not like this that's is a... Um... That's, that's insane, man. We literally... <laughs> <laughs> that's so fitting. 
A6 Donruss is just provides me with so much disappointment in the end because I've never pulled a Conseco. Yeah, it's um, it is what it is. That's we did our, we did our best. It was from a sealed case and um, yeah. All right, Dude, so I, um, so we're gonna save the break with a um, piece of fan mail from Danny R to Stu. So Danny R. Thank you very much, Danny, in advance for whatever this, uh, whatever's in here. I don't know what it is, but I, um, I can maybe guess, but... All right, let's... Um, oh, look at this. Let me... Um, I don't know if I, he wants me to... Let me hold it off camera just for a second to see if there's a note or anything, and I don't ruin the surprise. All right. It's right here, and he did... Super great guy, family, stay safe. Um, look forward to next break. Um, so Danny R. So few words. Um, uh, I I didn't understand a word what you just said. I was kind of reading in my head to see. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is actually like... okay. This is to you, Stu. Yes. You're a super great guy. Family loved him. Stay safe. Looking forward to the next break with Jason, and God bless. Thank Your you. Your friend in baseball, Danny R., parentheses, Mets rule. Not this year. Oh, oh. look, you missed all that. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> it was like, it was kind of, we, <laughs> no wonder. All right, so um, uh, he wants to, I don't know if I'm, I guess I am supposed to read this, because he, he knew we were going to open it on, on air. So he wants to extend his sincere condolences Keep you and your family in his prayers. Ah, thank you. Love Jack of all trades. Um, after all, you can still laugh and have a great sense of humor. Love it and stay funny. Always a blast watching you and Jason on the breaks. Uh, finally started. Okay, so this is a little bit of a hint. A um, uh, TTM is through the mail and wanted to get you something special. Uh, something to go with your only PSA 10 card. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ho hope you like it. We met We met Mr. Snyder at the Hall of Fame. La okay, this is why it didn't make sense. Last year, super great guy. Family loved him. <laughs> that, now, you, now that all makes sense. Now, it makes, now it's coming together, right? Stay Wait, safe. That's a Corey Snyder? He's, it's, a, he's, it's a Corey Snyder signed card? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Holy smokes. Not that just is a amazing. signed card. A signed no, rookie card. Signed card. Yeah, and in killer shape, wow. too. I do not have that in my collection, and now I do. That, that makes the amazing. break worth it. All right, Danny R., you saved, you saved the break for sure. Because we had we had kind of some long faces, um, but not anymore. What, was, Look at that. Wait, did, I hope did he? I hope he kept like some more Snyder signed stuff for his own PC. I don't know. I would hate to think that he just gave me like this piece of American treasure right there. I think he did it for you, Stu. Dude, that is incredible. I am beaming. You are a sweetheart. I'm loving the fan mail. Let this. Uh, hopefully, this is a new trend. <laughs> right, the fan mail is awesome. <laughs> And uh, that is incredible. And I told, uh, listen, I got to get some foul ball Paul cards to, out your way so that you can send them out to your regulars. Um, I said I would do that a long time ago. So let's yes, let's actually do that. We need to do that. So and maybe, I, I still have a another card for Paul, um, uh, which um, uh, I forgot to send him. I sent him a bunch of uh, eighty nine Fleer. Does he say thank you? He does. Um, I actually I, I messaged him and got his address. And I told him I was going to send him some 89 Fleer. And uh, I got a message from Paul about about 45 minutes later asking me when I, he could expect those cards, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Paul Paul does not mess around. <laughs> no, that's, that's Paul. That's Paul. Paul that's is Paul. all about cards. And um, I have his <laughs> a, 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 a Tim Salmon gold card in the stew box that Danny R. donated to... Um, Paul, but I haven't gotten it to him yet. So, uh, Paul, Paul is a uh, is a uh, is a unique individual, and uh, it's uh, you can't. <laughs> he totally just talks like that for sure. Yeah, that's Paul. That's Paul all day. So, um, 
So that's awesome. Yeah, we'll um, we'll spread the love around right. and um, look for that's a link right. in the description to the GoFundMe, and that's yeah, what everyone that's donated good. to. Um, so thanks and if again. Anybody wants to, anybody watching the video wants to donate additional funds uh, to that GoFundMe in my uh, in my dad's name, feel free. That would be really sweet. Um, we'll put the link in the description. Yes. Sure. All right. Well, good to uh, speak to you, and I'll text you the uh, info that you need. And uh, thanks. This was a very special break, man. I'm sorry that we didn't get a Conseco, but that Corey Snyder rules, and uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again, Danny R. Roger yeah. M. And David J, um, all for yes. buying in and sponsoring this break. Um, it was really, it was awesome. Um, uh, no Jose, but um, uh, there's always next time. And uh, we, we had fun, as always, too. So we really appreciate yes. you, you always joining us on the breaks. Honestly, I have to be honest, because uh, I have breaks, to, like some boxes sometimes where I want to do a break. And I'm like, you know what? I really don't feel like doing them without Stu. I did a couple, and then it was like something's missing if like we don't have you in the upper left-hand corner. So... Well, I'm available. So I just want to appreciate it. Say I appreciate it. We're going to keep breaking. Don't you worry. All right, man. Well, thanks again. Right. And um, stay safe out there, Stu. And we'll, we'll see you soon. Yep. Man. I'll see you on the next one. See you. Thanks, man.